All right, man, let's talk about uh, 50 Cent. Sorry for my fan blowing. Let's talk about 50 Cent TV show about Snoop Dogg. The murder was the case that they gave me. Let's talk about that being canceled. And, you know, everybody thought that his issue with uh, stars was just him trying to play hardball. But like stars, you know, you know, they might be thinking that um, a demographic might be getting too black. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they might just be, they might be thinking they don't want to be the premium version of BET or the premium version of, of TV One. All right. So they might, you know, or may, may not get a response. I know he was mad because they ain't renewed that, 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 that power show about Tommy. You know what I'm saying? Which that was a character that he based off Eminem. And, you know, I feel, you know, he feel that, you know, that Eminem owe him, you know, uh, he owe Eminem a lot. And if it wasn't for Eminem, he wouldn't be in the game. So I feel it, but at this point, this shit just starting to, you know, it's starting to turn into it's past idolization, man. And that's, you ain't supposed to idolize nobody but the most high. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, you're familiar with that book. But, you know, at the same time, uh, at the same time, it's just getting to a point where, um, you know, shit just kind of weird to me. But it is what it is. Without him, you know, he'd probably be dead or in jail or whatever the situation may be. But apparently they canceled the show. And, you know, they didn't want to renew that show. And now, you know, he getting mad. He packing the shit, leaving. You like, like, where he going? You know what I'm saying? You know, when HBO put the money up, HBO really don't, I ain't really into that. You know, since like The Wire, you know, you know, they really ain't been into that. You know, so you're going to go like Cinemax or something like that. They have extension to HBO, if my memory serves me correctly. You're going to go to Epix or Hulu or Netflix. Well, he should go to Netflix. You know what I'm saying? They have an issue with their subscriber situation. He should go over to Netflix and, 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 and make it happen. Well, that's what I would go. I'll go right over to Netflix and, and make and, and make it happen. But you know, nonetheless, uh they won't be renewing the show or they stop production. So um more than likely you won't see it. So I mean it is what it is. 50 Cent says Snoop Dogg murder was the case here is no longer in production as star. So I mean, mm-hmm. take your fan base with you. If they let you, they let you have your license or whatever. You know, you can take your content and go to another network. I'm pretty sure that's something that you know, um, you know, he probably working on. That's something that hope that he working on. So, I mean, and he should be working on. Honestly, he should you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know. Uh, you know, we literally have to wait and see. You know, but um, let's read it. But uh, shout out to Complex. Um, and it says that uh, just a month after Stars, uh, was it? Tap to 50, or tape to 50, or tap to 50 cent, tape to 50 cent. Uh, to executive produce an upcoming uh, series centered on Snoop Dogg's uh, 1993 murder, is the case that murder trial. Uh, it appears that the project has been put on the back burner. Tapped. I'm tired. Not puppy. Fifth took uh, the Twitter on Saturday to reveal the script analogy uh, series, which was announced in December under the working title, A Moment in Time, Murder in the Case is No Longer in Production. Quote, as Snoop Dogg murder, it was the case of no longer production at Star 50 wrote. And since the lead tweet, I give them the alley-oop. They dropped the damn ball. Anyway, I hope a Snoop tell his story. So, that was a big thing in the 90s. Uh, but uh, back in December 50, uh, December 50, he shared his thoughts about the forthcoming series, which he's previously hinted in a statement. Quote, murder was the case is an incredible story he said quote snoop has snoop had the biggest album in the country and was fighting for his freedom in the courtroom um the only place uh to go on this incredible ride is with june and films and television i'm excited to be working with snoop Dogg to bring it to television snoop added a call i'm excited to finally tell my story of murder was the case this was a pivotal moment in my life and career i've been deliberately wait until waiting until i found the right partner to bring it to the screen Murder was a case. It was one of the hip hop, one or two hip hop analogy series. Star reportedly has in development. September 2020, the cable announced a moment in time, the massacre, which is a development, will cover the rivalry between 50 Cent in the game. So, 
I mean, it's what it is. You know, don't post it if you're going to delete it, you know. But, you know, maybe they told him, calm down, this would happen with the budget or this we planning on something bigger or we plan on making it bigger or, you know, whatever scene. That's just something that, you know, he is going to have to work out. But he always liked to go to social media and, you know, start running his mouth through social media. You know what I'm saying? Every time something bad happened, you know, he always got something to say. He's somebody hard to work with. And them, them white suits don't like stuff like that. I tell you right now, them white suits don't like stuff like that, bro. But they know what animal they're dealing with in 50. And he don't get his way. He runs social media. You know, talk about his his uh, actors and actresses on the set and all of that type of stuff. But it is what it is. What else stars got to offer? Honestly, bro. Like, man, I ain't had, man. Shit, I ain't had. I never had stars in my house, dude. I don't care if that shit, a dollar fifty-five. I never had stars. My mama had stars when I was growing up. I just never really, you know, seen seen much on there. You know, this is the puppy. You know, never seen much on there. So, like I said, I used to like that LeBron show, Survivor Remorse, at one point, but it is what it is. It just never really had nothing to really, you know, catch my eye. You know, so you know, like I said before, that is what it is. Um, you know, you all they always do black shows like that, like with Smart Guy back in the day, man. I was watching on one of the channels on here, they were talking about Omar uh Gooden was talking about why uh Smart Guy never came back. He said, you know, TJ had asked for a raise and they didn't want to give TJ the raise, and you know, and then they all wanted raise, they had been working on like four or five seasons and they was only they was almost good enough to be able to you know keep getting checks. I forget what he called it per se. It was something about them be able to get the lifetime type of checks off that show. And he said that they just instantly you know canceled the show because the you know, the actors asked for a raise and the network didn't want to give the actors a raise. He said it was as simple as that. He said they hadn't got a raise since it had started, and they refused to to, to give the people working on the set a raise. And, you know, that's messed up. You asked for one, you know, one. he said, we asked for one little raise. And, you know, TJ didn't show up to on the, t- on the set. You know, they kind of sent like he went off to summer camp. Then he came back. And then, you know, people was asking for a raise. And they didn't want to give him a raise. And they canceled the show. They have been, they've been doing black shows like that, bro. Meanwhile, Friends stayed on forever. Friends ain't never made me laugh. You know, friends, friends stayed on forever. Friends, they never made me laugh. I hated that show. I mean, I remember going to my grandma's house and had cable. And I'd rather watch Will and Grace than Friends, dude. I used to go into that Western's collection. You feel me? I used to go into that Western collection to watch TV. <laughs> used to, I'd rather have watched Shaka Zulu over and over again. That shit was like a three, four tape uh, t- uh, uh, movie or the Titanic. I hate it when Friends came on, bro. That was like the worst, all-time worst TV show in history, bro. Whoever came up with the idea to, to put Friends on TV, man, I don't know how that shit kept getting renewed and who watched it. I guess it's white people funny, but that's my puppy crying. But uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the music and entertainment playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video, right? Um, want to find me everywhere? Hit the link tree link in the description. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. By hitting the link tree link, it's the first link there. Find me everywhere. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Good for the sports TV.